Nice to meet you. My name is Sheldon Daman, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a Ruby High School student as the moment, and I am taking co op 12 0. And a little bit about myself, something about Mike. Um, I like going outdoors, I love stuff, I love interacting with people, I love animals, I love technology, pretty broad based, but one of my biggest passions is people and outdoors. Um, a little bit about myself as well. I work at Superstore um, during the winter fall season. Um, I also work at Camp Wildwood in the summer. That was one of my biggest achievements there. I really do love the aspect there. Oh, I see that you have some questions for me. Mm, thank you. Let's read them for a sec here. Okay, um, tell me about my career goal. Um, my career goal is to take my passions and my um, my love and all my characteristics there and put it into a job that I enjoy and will do for many years. Um, because I said one of my passions is outdoors and people, um, I would one of my biggest goals is to become a camper director. Um, I think this was my dream job and why is one of my big career goals is because it takes all everything that I love and everything that I've done throughout my life so far and put it together to make that a dream job. Um, how you might ask how I achieved this goal, um, right now I am a counselor at Camp Walwood. Um, I've been working there for roughly four years and I do weekends there sometimes and I'm getting really close with the director there and it just has grown on me and I feel like once he retires, because he's quite old, um, I can quite step into his steps or I can achieve it at a different camp. Um, to get that goal, a goal, to achieve that goal, sorry about that, um, I could through, go through a college or university route and get those business degrees or I can do that such, um, but it doesn't really involve that. It is recommended, but it doesn't require. Um, so I might do that, take a university route and achieve that goal so I can quite live out my dreams and have a fun life. Another question you have here is, tell me about your placement. Well, right now I, oh, was, um, I had my co-op placement at the Unicorn Children's Center down in Riverview on Carverdale Road. And that was quite an enjoyment. Because I love kids, I love people so much, and directing and have fun, um, I really flourished in that environment there. Um, and it just was a great experience, if I should say myself. Um, the kids enjoyed it, the teachers enjoyed the fun, and it was just adapting and learning and learning all these new skills that I will be able to use when I'm older, such as the father figure or as a camp director. But so I really do, and all these skills that I did learn on this co-op placement, such as interacting with a child or interacting with parents, um, time management skills, as we did have a schedule every day, um, all these skills I learned during co-op and through my placement, uh, as well in the classroom through all the certifications we did do, um, really helped me to broaden my horizon on how to achieve my career choice and how it will help me in the long run. Um, so of these skills, it, it really does help a lot and again it will help me in the long run and I'm very thankful for that co placement. Another question here is um, my personality type, Myers-Briggs. Gotta say it was a wonderful test, really did joy and all, and it seems that when I did the test I got the campaigner. As a campaigner says, quote-unquote, is enthusiastic, creative, and sociable, free spirits who can always find a reason to smile. I really did like this choice, that that's what they gave me, because it suits me well. It's me, exactly. Um, how this goes with my everyday tasks and the requirements and responsibilities of my job um, is very well. I'm creative, as I can show new activities for the kids at the camp, or I'm very sociable, and I can interact with staff, parents, te uh, kids, and just interact and have that um, fun, warming atmosphere, and that's how it really ties in there. Um, always find a reason to smile. Can't go wrong with that. Everyone loves a smile, and no one likes a frown. And as you can hear here, my other question we have here that you asked for is the portfolio. Um, as we can see here, we do have my portfolio. Very pretty. You can take a look at this if you like. I can show it to you as well. Um, so as we can see here in my portfolio, 
so you can see uh, my resume. It shows my education that I did uh, get at school, and it also shows my work experience. I've had multiple jobs, uh, all interacting in the fun that we do have, and it has taught me lots of skills. As I worked at a superstore, I did sales skills, restocking shelves, pushing carts. I was a counselor. I did the interaction of children and adults. Um, I provided entertainment through uh, games and activities, and I cleaned. And I also worked at Sky and Trampoline Park. Sadly, I had to leave that because it was over town. But it provided me to supervise customers, and I also did birthday parties, so I entertained them. So lots of customer satisfaction there, and lots of interaction there to broaden my horizons. Um, we do have also, I have done volunteer work. I did uh, volunteer work at SPCA when I was a little younger, and we interacted with the animals there. And we also did um, responsibilities, take them for walks, feed them, kind of like get that knowing of what it is to be an adult. We also did the Karma Cat Rescue, where I did a lot of hours of raising money, handling cash, and we also did a lot of time management, like, oh, we need to go save this person this time. Uh, one of the biggest things we had was Youth in Action. Um, I've been in that for around four years. And because of this, um, we've learned to help many people, which I enjoy doing. And um, we've raised money, and we've just done amazing things for amazing people. And we also have, here's my references. Um, we also have my cover letter that you can read later. And throughout this um, co-op lesson that we did do, um, we did have journals that showed the aspect of every day, um, journals that showed me the every day of my co placement, and you can read this later on, but it does enjoy um, a quiet read, and it shows you all the great responsibilities I had, and all the skills I learned. And here's some of the employment skills that we can see here. Um, I'll read you for it word for word. Working at Atlantic Superstore, I used numbers and technology, which is a skill. I learned how to use this skill at my placement at Superstore to improve customer relations and make your work habits more effective. I also was a high achievement in environmental science 12, and I have had exploratory attendance throughout my classes. I found this is a very good characteristics to have in a career aspect because you do not want to be late for a job. Um, I'll hand this back to you. And one of your things is you say to reference the reference letters. I have two reference letters for my placements at the Unicorn Children's Center. And um, you can have these reads as well. They're great. And they do show you how well of a person I am. And these back to you as well. Uh, so I do thank you for listening to this video. And I would like you to look into um, my portfolio here and to see if you are um, accepted into your job. And so I'd like to thank you for your time. And goodbye.